Hey guys, we'll be taking a look at uh, we'll be taking a quick look anyway at the org agenda and uh, essentially how to do some basic task management stuff. So one of the first features that don't get talked about a lot in uh, in any kind of org agenda videos is that you can write uh, not only you can do to do items but you can also do kind of uh, checklists. And uh, just to show off how a checklist works, so I essentially kind of can write a list. And then I can use this kind of little character, the square brackets with a space in the middle in order to define a checkbox. So this is checkbox one, checkbox one, and I'll copy and paste this twice, and then I'll replace this is a two, this is a three. And I have a key binding to kind of uh, check those boxes. So control C, control C is going to tick them. Notice that I get kind of uh, these X symbols. And uh, additionally, I can also uh, add to my kind of master task. I can also add this kind of syntax. I can add a set of square brackets with a forward slash in the middle. And then notice what happens. So if I press Control C, Control C here, I actually get a view of how many of the checkboxes below they are ticked. So I can have checkboxes inside of checkboxes. In fact, I can have a better speaking. I can have kind of sub items to checkboxes, so such as this one checkbox one and a half, one dot zero, maybe checkbox one dot five, something like that. And then notice that if I check all of those, I actually check the parent and I also check here. And then I get this nice screen. The only thing that it doesn't do is it doesn't change the state of the parent to closed. I think that there is a parameter that changes that, but I'm not entirely sure as of right now. So this is an example again with checkboxes. I can uh, do this and I can also manage kind of tasks in a more comprehensive manner by using kind of to do states. And you notice that this task, it has a to do state to, uh, attached to it. Now I can either kind of type in the states manually, but for example, by writing done here, I am setting this task, task to done or I can use to do, but I can also cycle through the available kind of states by using the key binding control C control T. And you notice that this uh, that since I was on the to do mode, I am now going to done. And uh, additionally, I get kind of a timestamp of when I kind of closed this task. So this timestamp comes from configuration, and I'll be showing you later because by default I don't get a timestamp. So I saw that we can uh, kind of toggle states, and additionally, if I toggle this back to a to do, I can also schedule tasks by using Control C, Control S. And then I get printed this little kind of a calendar here. So here in the calendar, I can either type in a precise date. So for example, 2020 and then nine and then 10, for example, a random date. So I can also kind of uh, choose a day starting from, to from today, for example, by using control C, control S. If I type in plus two, I am fixing this task to be two days from now. So to be due two days from now which will be the fourth since I am doing this on the 2nd of August. And uh, these are some of the nice little things again. Um, this is scheduling and this is how again you basically manage tasks. But then you have uh, some more advanced features which are come with org agenda that allow you to that allow you to kind of look at tasks in a more global manner. So in fact, if I go to my configuration file, which I linked here, this is kind of my current configuration, my base configuration for org agenda. Now, what uh, gives me timestamping, such as this one. So if I close this thing, I get a timestamp. This is the variable that defines it. So org log done. If this is set to true, I am essentially getting the timestamping whenever I close tasks. And uh, one useful thing that's important for the agenda is that you set your agenda files. So these are the files Excuse me, these are the files that get kind of uh, that org agenda looks into whenever you issue the command in order to kind of determine where your to do items are. So in this case, I have two of them. I have notes.org and I have tasks.org. They are both in my kind of my home folder. And uh, this is again, this is the logging. And these are the configuration for the agenda files. You can get all of these from my GitHub again. And uh, additionally, by default, org agenda does not come with a key binding. So you can use it by using a meta x command and then searching org agenda. But in my case, I decided to kind of bind it to a key. And this is the key that's often used. So control C A. 
And uh, if I run this little uh, this little key binding, so Control C A, I actually get this little prompt, and this is the org agenda dispatcher. And I have a few options. So if I want, I can display the agenda for the current week or day by pressing A. And you notice that uh, I get kind of uh, this prompt, and this essentially shows the full week. So if I had some uh, tasks that were due, for example, on Monday or on Thursday, they would appear here as well. And what's interesting is that I can use this view in order to kind of uh, manage my, my tasks. So notice that this task is still open. In fact, I can go here on this buffer and I can press Control C, Control T to toggle it. And this also toggles it on the on the main file. So this is kind of a centralized way to tackle tests. And I'll try adding another a few more just to show you. So this is another task and then another. And I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to open agenda again. And then if I list all the to-do entries, you notice that I have kind of all of them. And in this case, I pressed T on the dispatcher, so I'm not getting any specific week. This is just a collection of all the open items. So I can do the same thing. I can manage them by using Control C, Control T. I can set, uh, change their state again to be closed or open. So these are some of the agenda views. Again, if I go back to the dispatcher, I can also kind of uh, search for keywords. So this is going to make kind of a regular expression search across. So let's say that I want to search for uh, the word, uh, maybe org mode. So I can type in org mode. And you notice that there is only one task which contains org mode in the title, which is this one. So if I have a uh, if I have kind of a an idea of what task I was looking for, and if I have several tasks and maybe several different projects that I am working on, then I can use this kind of keyword search in order to find the task that I'm looking for. So I can also again uh, look for special kind of entries and. Uh, you can also look within a specific buffer. So if I have a very large file, in fact, or if I have many files, maybe I can use this uh, this uh, entry here, which is buffer and then restriction, which means that essentially I'm going to look into a single buffer if I have several of them open. So this is not going to change anything, uh, but uh, if I do an A and then the, if I press this smaller than sign and then press A, I am actually restricting myself to only this buffer. And I can demonstrate that by going to my configuration. You notice that I have a kind of a two, uh, two uh, definitions. So I have a notes file and I'm going to try adding a task to the notes file. So let's say that this is another item in another file. And uh, if I go back to my kind of org agenda dispatcher, so control C, control A, uh, control C, A, excuse me. And then I restrict this to my current buffer. I'm then going to press the T to list all of them. And you notice that this is the only one that appears. Whereas if I did the same thing without the, the, the restriction and I press C, I get all of them. So this is one is on the notes, on the notes kind of uh, file and the other ones, they are on the tasks file. Uh, this is kind of the basic, again, the most basic things that you can do using org agenda. And uh, we'll later see a video on how you can capture tasks more easily, both from inside and from outside Emacs. And then it's when you really get to kind of boost your workflow because this mode is very useful if you want to, for example, if you have a quick thought and you have an idea and you want to keep that for later so, so that you can forget about it. So this will be, this is kind of what we'll be taking a look later. So org capture and uh, all the other things. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.